What's up guys and thank you for tuning in to another episode of my vlog. This is episode 7. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about why I left my 9 to 5 job. Check it out. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say that for those of you that are happy and you are doing what you love, uh, even if it is a nine to five job, uh, if you bring value and you feel fulfilled, then this may not apply to you and that's okay. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who do hunger for something more, uh, who aren't satisfied, who are constantly in what feels like a never ending struggle or those who are lost, uh, this may be the video for you. What it comes down to is, for the longest time, I have always had a dissatisfaction with a nine to, four, nine to five job for numerous reasons. To put it simply, the first reason is it just takes up too much time. For me personally, um, if you factor in the work week, a 40 hour work week, with the amount of time that you spend in traffic and the amount of time that you, know, you eat lunch on site or off site, it doesn't matter, you're still essentially at work. It totals in to about 60 hours a week, uh, about 240 hours a month. That is an astounding amount of time. Imagine putting that time into something you actually want to do or something that you're actually passionate about. In my opinion, that could be spent doing so many other things. Uh, even if it's not working on yourself or personal growth, it could be just spending time with family or just which is, this is very underrated, but just doing nothing. Now, I live in the Silicon Valley uh, in San Jose, California, and although it may not be as fast paced as places like New York City, but it's, it's still pretty fast. People are still just like productivity monsters out here, and it's, it's madness. Um, I, I see it all around me all the time. With that being said, it just seems like we're spending so much of our time trying to make a living. Now there's two sides to the coin where yes, there are people out there that they, they are trying to gain material wealth, they are trying to buy a house, and then there's just there's people out there uh, that are poverty. I mean, if you come out here, there's a, there's a serious homeless problem. It's not just about, you know, people joining the rat race or being in the rat race because they want nice things. No, a lot of these people are out here like working their asses off and they, they can't get by on it. So they're working, they're working more than 60 hours a week. They may be pushing 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week. That being said, I was falling into the same, I was falling into the same place. Uh, what it came down to is I would have spent most of my time making a living to be in a, uh, in a box essentially, to live in an apartment. There, I just really wouldn't get to see that much unless I was going to sleep. So I had to really uh, ask myself, like, what else is there? Like, what else can I do? So I ended up getting an RV and I live in the RV. Now, granted, there's some drawbacks to it, you know? Um, you can get into a mobile home park, but if those are waitlisted and you can't get into those, you're, you're forced to boondock is what they call it, which means that you're kind of just parking on the side of the street, um, which is kind of what I do. So. Yeah, it's not the best, but I save thousands of dollars a month on rent. So that was my first thing. The second thing is, or the second component to why I left my job and also why I started this vlog in the first place was when my grandpa passed in May. Um, that had a very profound impact on me. Once my grandpa passed away, it was so sudden because he fell and he broke his neck. And it's like, you know, one minute he's there, next minute he's gone. And uh, it just really taught me firsthand that a life is precious, you know, and you only get one. And I just feel like most of us walk around like we're gonna live forever. And that's not true. It, it, life is too short to be unhappy. Uh, life is too short to do something that you 
hate doing or being somewhere that you don't want to be. It's just too short. So that being said, I had taken a liking to photography and and also an interest in video and I started watching vlogs. And I thought vlogs were so cool just because it's like I'm, I'm watching these people's lives and they're just, they make it look so interesting and it's so fun to watch and it's so fun to be a part of. Like the first vlogger I think I ever saw was Casey Neistat. And I thought that was so dope. Uh, just because he was being really creative too. Like he kind of made each episode like a movie. That, that, that was it for me. And I was like, you know what? I have a story I want to tell too. So I, I want to figure out a way to incorporate my music to do some traveling, to meet some other artists, vloggers, social media influencers, and just put everything together and just document the process. Because what it comes down to is since I was a young kid, I've always had a dream to do something like this. I've always had a dream to just hop in a van and just, just go, just promote myself and just go for my dreams. But I haven't, you know? Every day I would come to work and Again, I don't, there's nothing wrong with making a living, but I think that there's something wrong when making a living is taking up most of your life. It's like it throws everything off balance. I just, I haven't given myself a true shot at it, and I'm going to give myself a true shot at it now, because I don't want to get old and have regrets. That's one thing I've learned from both my grandfathers. Uh, I don't, I don't want to look back and feel like, well, what if I would have done, what if I would have done this? What if I would have gave myself a shot? That being said, the, the road trip is gonna be uh, roughly 4,000 miles traveling the western part of the United States. And it's gonna be going to all the major cities, really starting from San Jose. And along the way, uh, I hope to just be able to share an experience that I hope inspires people to live more authentically. The last thing I want to touch on, I think the biggest influence too, is you know, working in the corporate world for roughly 10 years, I've encountered a lot of very successful people uh, from all different types of walks of life, but the one thing I see the most, as somebody who is constantly interfacing with people, I always ask people, you know, are you happy with your life? Like, what is your overall life satisfaction? And more than, more than not, I'd say about 75% of people, even if they are successful, even if they have plenty of money, they're not happy. They're not fulfilled at their jobs. They feel it takes up too much of their time. See, I feel like maybe I'm one of the lucky ones because I was only, I was only pushing the 60 hours. Some people are pushing way more. They have no time for their families. They have no time for hobbies. It's work, 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 work. What's the point? What's the point of having all that money if you don't get to enjoy any of it? That being said, um, that is the reason why I left my nine to five job. Now, in the meantime, I work about 24 hours a week. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to sharpen my skill set and save up for my trip that's coming up. Um, you know, I think when it comes to following your dream, you know, I know some people just can't pick up and go. I mean, you can, but Chance favors a prepared mind and it's something that you need to be strategic about. I would really love to hear from you guys. Um, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. What is your dream? What is something that you've always wanted to do and, and what's holding you back? Um, definitely like drop a comment. Like I said, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, like the video. Uh, if you share it, that's even better. Uh, please subscribe at the bottom of the page. Once you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Just click on that bell. That's it. I uh, hope you guys liked the episode. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.